Hello, my name is Greg Grex, a PGA professional and instructor. And today, I'd like to talk a little bit about posture and the importance to posture and setup to the golf swing. I'm going to start with one of my new students over here in the left-hand video. And basically, again, just really, really focusing on the posture and why the posture could deter the golf swing from working on proper plane and causing some issues with impact position. I'm going to start first by just looking at how much bend she has from the hips. And we have 48.4 degrees of bend. The first thing I wanted to do was to get the posture much more stable and much more balanced. And by doing that, we've got to change the position of the balance point. So we're going to change that bend point to 40 degrees as opposed to 48.4. And again, once we can get the posture looking more in position and much more balanced, then we can start talking about improving the mechanics of the golf swing. The mechanics of the golf swing, to me, in many, many times, are often determined because of incorrect or poor posture and balance at the address position. So we have to be really, really careful as golf instructors to make sure that our students are continually balanced. Now, I took some pretty good video this year of Paula Creamer up at the uh, championship tournament in Richmond, Virginia at the Kings Mill. And I want you to see how very relaxed and how very well balanced this position is of her at the address position. Again, we please keep in mind how important the address is to how the golf swing is going to work. Some other great video that I got was of Anna Nordquist. And she's a tall girl, just like my student. So I want to make sure, again, that I'm telling my student the right things. I want to make sure that she's not bending too much. You see here with the tour player, basically 39.4, which is almost 40 degrees of bend. What we got my student whenever we change that position. Let's go back to Paula again. We'll kind of look at her bend. We'll draw that line on there. And you'll see she's at 37.6 or almost 38 degrees. So now we're seeing a consistency from player to player, and especially the best players in the world on the LPGA Tour, is we're not going to see them bending over too much. We want to balance the position out, get the eyes in the right position too. You'll see if we draw a line from her eyes down to the ball, her eyes are much more over top of the ball as opposed to more level with the hands. And that's another key indicator on how much the student is bending at the address position. Lastly, in the last video that we took of my student, we put her setting up with the driver. And I happened to get LPGA Tour player Janice Moody and basically this new position in her left video is much improved. We, we tried to get her posture much better. We tried to get the balance much better before she even began the golf swing. So again we can mark the angles here just to kind of give you an idea on how much she's bending now with the driver and it's not going to be nearly as much. So we were at four degrees of bend with a mid iron and we're now at 33 degrees of bend with the driver. So that means we're doing a good job of improving and we, we have Janice Moody here at about 35, 34 and a half. So we're starting to be more consistent with what I'm helping her do already with her setup which again is going to help her improve her golf swing. For more information please contact Greg Grexa at Wildwood Green Golf Club. I'd be happy to make sure that your setup is much more balanced at the address position and it's going to help you develop a better swing.